Hey guys, Pete the Norfolk Chili Head back once again with another quick review for you today. Uh, this is the third review in the series of reviews I've got coming up of stuff that was sent to me by Mr. Paradise Weiss, uh, a guy, as I've said before, that most of you are already familiar with by now, but if you're not, do go and check out his channel. Um, it's pretty darn awesome. Um, but what he sent me today is one that I am really looking forward to. Tacky's Extra Hot. Oh yes, Tacky's. Uh, I had the Takis Fuego that he sent me, which were awesome, really loved them. These are the extra hot ones. Um, to be honest, I found the, the Fuego ones kind of, you know, they were quite hot. They had a kick to them, I thought. This one promises to be even hotter because it's got four out of uh, four on the heat scale there, if you can see. And uh, it says it's limited edition, which is pretty cool. So I don't know how easy it is to find these over there in the States, but if you can get them, get them while they're hot. <laughs> right, so I'm not going to go through all the ingredients. It's the same as before, pretty much, and um, there's loads of stuff in there. But you've got corn flour, onion powder, chilli powder, uh, various different oils, all that kind of stuff. There's the kind of stuff you generally get in chips and nachos, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is from BarcelUSA.com, and you can follow them on Facebook and Twitter at Tacky's USA. Uh, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say about it, because it's very similar to the Fuego ones. And uh, there's not much difference in packaging, etc. You can just see, can't you? You can see. So let's crack them open. Whoa. Mm, they smell very similar to the, to the previous ones that I tried. And they also have that ridiculous red colour on them again. <laughs> Absolutely crazy colour. Oh well, let's try them. Oh, they're good. Mm. Look at my fingers. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, they're really good. Um, slightly hotter than the previous ones, slightly than the Fuego, the Fuego, Fuego ones. Not a huge amount hotter, it has to be said, but you can definitely feel it. Heat-wise, I'd probably give it about a 3 out of 10. You can feel it on the back of the throat. Uh, slightly on the roof of the mouth as well, maybe. And now sort of a little bit on the tongue as well. Not too much, but a little bit. It's a nice, manageable, spicy snack, I would say. The flavour is just as good as the Fuego ones. Really, really strong with that acidic lime, um, which I love. I love flavours that are really sharp and citrusy. So I absolutely love that. I think it might put some people off because it is so strong, but me, I love these. Again, I would say if you are watching this in the UK, the closest thing that they remind me of are scampi fries, just extra spicy scampi fries, basically. Um, so if you're into that kind of bar snack, you look at, you'll probably love these. They're really, really good. Texture-wise, they're very, very similar, I would just say, to nachos. You know, they've got that great crunch to them that you get with those sort of cornflower style chips, which is really, really good. And uh, this is the kind of snack that I could polish off in about five minutes flat. Um, they're really, really good. And I'm so pleased that Jeff, Mr. Paradise Wife, sent them to me. Um, the kind of thing that you would just never normally get here in the UK. I want to lick my fingers because I've got it all over me. Um, but they really are fantastic. You just can't get them in the UK, and I've absolutely loved trying them. The only very annoying thing is, is that I probably won't ever be able to get them again unless I go over to the States and, you know, buy like a massive truckload of them, because, uh, like I say, you just can't get them over here. But thanks once again, Mr. Paradise Wise, for sending me these. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. I love them. I want them all the time. So thanks for that. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is going to be my last review, uh, probably for... Uh, probably about a week or two, um, I'm going away to Download Festival, in case you guys didn't know. If you didn't, check out my preview video, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, I'm going to Donington to see the likes of Iron Maiden and Slipknot and Motorhead and Ramstein, etc. Uh, so, 
can't wait. I'm going to be away for a few days, but when I get back, it's straight back to those pesky little reviews. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. See ya. Burn, burn, yeah!